Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, my name is Esperanza. I'm a full-time content creator living in Pittsburgh, but I'm originally from the Pacific Northwest. I've been living here for a few years now with my fiance and our Labradoodle Indio. I have a background in interior design, but I've been a full-time content creator for the past five years now. I grew up in Eastern Washington, and also another fun fact, I am half Colombian and also Italian and Irish on my dad's side, Colombian on my mom's side. So I have been doing two vlogs a week now. I have been trying to stay very consistent with this for the past few weeks now. So on my channel, you guys will see a ton of thrift, home, styling, fashion, travel, and more. So in today's vlog, we are going to be doing a mini PR unboxing of some clothing. I'll also probably do a try on of that. And then we're also gonna be doing a little bit of shopping. I need to do some thrifting, I'll stop at Home Depot and Target because I have a little DIY project and some decorating that I want to do as well in this vlog. So if you guys haven't already, please be sure to subscribe to my channel, turn on your bell notifications so you guys will be notified whenever I have a new video. And also be sure to share my channel with a family member or maybe a friend who you think would like this content as well. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started with the clothing haul. So the brand I'm about to share with you guys is a sustainable and ethical brand called Grey State Apparel and they actually reached out to see if I would want to pick out a few of their pieces so here is what I got. So I actually picked out three things in the color white. Um, I'm pretty sure it was a couple dresses and a top. They also have these in biodegradable, compostable, and eco-friendly packaging. Okay, so the first item is this simple white dress. Um, here is the details around the neck. Kind of goes down in almost like a v-neck. Um, short sleeved. It has a elastic waistband at the waist and then a ruffle detail, kind of like a pleat um, towards the bottom of the dress. So just a cute little um, white dress for summer. I also picked out this dress here, another little white dress. So it has pleating as well, kind of like three tiers of pleats, making it kind of like a fun, ruffly dress. Uh, the top portion here is stretchy and um, elastic, I guess you would say the fabric is. So it's 57% cotton, 38% modal, and 5% spandex. This is super stretchy, so I think it's gonna be very comfortable. There's even some stretchy elastic in the back to give you a little bit more um, comfortability as well. So can't wait to try these on. I was wanting a couple of new dresses for spring, summer, basically summer because we're nearing the end of spring now. So I'm really excited about these pieces because I know that they are really amazing quality. I'm trying to only keep things in my wardrobe that I know are amazing quality that I'll want to keep around for a long time. So this one's actually made out of the same materials as the other dress. And then the last thing I got is this top here. So it's kind of like a boxy um, cut. It has a boxy cut to it. Elastic waistband here at the bottom for kind of a cropped look. And then on the shoulders, you have this really pretty detail here, um, ties at the shoulders. So I thought that was kind of a unique top and something that would be really cute this summer with like jean shorts, something like that. Um, I could see myself wearing this on like 4th of July with some denim shorts. I just love the color white for summer. I think it looks so classic with denim. So that's why I picked out two white dresses for summer and a little white top for summer. Okay, so here is what that first top looks like. It could definitely use a good steaming, but I think that it looks super cute. Kind of gives me like Grecian vibes almost with this neckline. And then the 
ruching or whatever you would call this detail on the shoulders I think is a super fun different kind of look and this would look really really cute also with my 70s wide leg pants something like that so besides denim that would be something I would style it with or maybe a cute summer skirt something like that okay so here is what the second dress looks like um, this one also needs a little bit of a iron, but just ignore that for now. So I think it's a super fun, cute dress. I love how kind of like flowy it is. It's super, super comfortable. So perfect for summer. I did get these in a size two, um, just because I like my clothes to be a little bit more comfortable, um, a little bit more roomy and a little teeny bit longer. I maybe would have gotten a size zero if I had been able to try it on in person. It's so hard when you're just like online shopping, especially because all these different brands and stores have like such different sizing, but overall I think that the fit is pretty good. At least it's not too small and it'll be very comfy, flowy for summer. Okay, so here is the last dress and this one is also a size two. I got all of them in that same size and it does, it does seem like it's just a little bit too big, especially you can see here like around my armpits it's kind of bunching up a little bit because of the extra material so i might just have to see if i can return these and get them in one size down so a zero instead of a two which is a bit of a, a bummer i was hoping that they would just fit perfectly but that's okay so i'll return these and probably just get them a size down and i think that they will be perfect Okay, so we are about to head out. I'm going to stop by one of my favorite coffee shops to get a little bit of work done and some coffee really quick. And then we will run those errands. And I'll show you guys what I'm gonna be decorating when we get back. Target to pick up a few things and I was also looking for a wood um, kind of like a wood dowel rack basically to just like hang a few things on mainly like what I was looking for was something more like a wood board that just had like pegs on it to like hang stuff on it but I didn't see that there I even stopped by one of the local Goodwills to see if they would have one I do see them quite often when I'm thrifting but I also checked another Goodwill in my neighborhood and they didn't have one either so I'm out of luck right now on that I'm at Home Depot and I'm going to head in and purchase a piece of board. I'm not sure if I'm going to do plywood or MDF or what quite yet, but basically a board that's big enough for me to paint a mural onto to use as a backdrop for my desk to kind of hide some ugly vents in our apartment. So I'll show you guys what it's going to look like when I get home, but for now I'm here to purchase that board and then also to pick up some paint so that I can paint the mural in the color scheme that I want. So let's go ahead and head in. Oh my gosh, guys, I am so sweaty now. That was a total mess. Um, the board that I wanted, as you guys can see, it was almost, it was definitely too big for my car. So I had to go back in and get um, five inches cut off of the width so I could get it to fit into my car, which is a bit of a bummer because I had wanted it the other size, but 
oh well, I didn't take that into consideration. I still think it'll be big enough and I'm just gonna have to go slowly so I don't damage it. And I was able to get two extra pieces for my countertop that I was hoping to be able to get for my wine bar area. So I'll show you guys that when I get home. Okay guys, I'm back home now. Mr. Indio says hi. So here is where I'm gonna be putting that piece of plywood. I just wanted to show you guys where it's going. So I wanted to do something like this to cover both of these vents here. They're not gonna be going off the rest of the spring or summer. So I figured this would be a really good way of covering those up and I'm gonna be painting a mural onto this. I have my paint samples here. I got two new ones just in like really neutral colors and then this one that I already had, which is like a terracotta color. So I'm gonna do like a really earth toned, um, kind of like modular type mural on that piece. So I'm gonna slide it back there so you guys can see it before it's painted. And then I was able to get two extra pieces out of it to use for my countertop in my wine bar area, which I'll show you guys next. Okay, so here's what that looks like without the mural painted onto it. It is sticking off the wall a little bit because of the vent hardware. Um, the vent hardware sticks off of the wall, so I couldn't really make that board flush with the wall, but it still looks close enough. You really can't tell. I think it's gonna look really good once I painted it, and it's gonna look so much better than what was there before, which is just these ugly random vents. So I'm very excited to see what that looks like when I finish painting it. And then my other two pieces are gonna go back here in the wine bar area. Basically the first time that I got this piece of wood for this countertop area, it just wasn't really the right size. So these pieces should be the right size and I'm gonna double them up so it'll be, it'll look extra thick like a regular counter and it'll be a little bit more flush with the wine bar area. So I'm gonna do that really fast and then pretty soon I'll finally finish decorating this area. Okay, so those boards did not end up fitting like I was hoping that they would. The problem is, is that the walls here are warped. So somehow I'm gonna have to take them back and see if I can get just like half an inch or an inch. I'm not sure I have to figure it out. Um, to get those to work properly. So we're gonna have to make one more trip to do that. But I'm gonna go ahead and end this video here. It's already pretty long, but in my next video, I will show you guys the finished mural and we'll also do some other decorating as well as showing you guys what this wine bar area is going to look like. I hope that you guys still enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you guys haven't subscribed already, please be sure to subscribe for more content like this. Also be sure to follow along with me on my other socials at The Urban Darling and check out my blog theurbandarling.com for more content. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!